Hi guys. Hello everyone. Welcome to Refashion Art. I'm Laura Madden. I'm going to do a little art demo today. It's going to be short and sweet, I promise. And I know I say that just about every time I come on here, but today for real, it's going to be short and sweet. It's well over 100 degrees right now. Um, we're going to be 111 in Arizona today, and I don't have air conditioning out here in my studio, so I'm already feeling it. Um, but I'm just going to do a little demo. I want to talk about a few pieces that I'm going to be doing and um, more to come. Let me check the comments real quick. I've been having, um, hey, Chris, I've been having, um, no surprise, some technical Wi-Fi issues, um, but... Let me see here. I'm just going to pin my comment. Hey, Francois, thanks for joining. Andy, how are you? Nice to see you. Pin comment. All right, there we go. So, refashioned art, live art demo. So, guys, like I said, it's about, it means well over 100 degrees in here. <laughs> and I'm feeling it. So, refashioned art, if you're new to my art, everything is upcycled. Everything I do is using repurposed materials. So I go to thrift stores, I go to estate sales, I go all over. Last week, Highlight found amazing, huge 51 by 51 inch square canvas in a neighbor's trash. No shame in the game, guys. And that is, it's just, uh, you know, reducing waste and conserving resources the best I can. And I really, I want to share that message. I want to demonstrate it. I want to demonstrate the, um, this collision of style and sustainability. How can we create a stylish lifestyle for ourselves, but while also doing good for the planet? That is the whole purpose of refashioned art. Other than the fact that I'm having a ton of fun and I love doing this and I hope to continue doing it for a long time. That said, I am, I have a ton of paintings for sale guys. I have over a hundred paintings that are ready to go, completed right now. A lot of them I do post on my Instagram. That is my interim website for the time being, but hopefully next week uh, I will turn a corner on that website. Fingers crossed, stay tuned. But um, I do have a ton of paintings to sell. I This is a business. I do need to sell paintings so that I can continue doing it. So please um, share this. You know, if you know anyone who's looking for art, if you're looking for art, um, I hope you'll consider purchasing one of my pieces. I'm available for video chat, FaceTime chats. If anybody is seriously interested in one of my pieces and you want to see things a little bit more up close and if you want to see details, um, if you can't, you know, come see them in person. And I would love to do that because I do, I highly recommend people, I want people to know what they're getting before they purchase something and that's something I've done, um, you know, with out of state clients before, you know, I've sent videos and stuff. Anyhow, that being said, that being said, I'm doing my uh, live happy hour art tour, and that's tonight, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I have the most amazing cocktail dress picked out. I mean, this is like the dress I have been, I mean, I've been like manifesting this dress since I think I was five. Um, so I hope you will join me. An amazing dress, cocktail dress. I will have my cocktail in hand. So join me for the art tour. I will be sharing some new pieces, um, some pieces uh, that are for sale. So please join me tonight at 5 p.m. Will not look like this, that is for sure. I will not look like this. I'm just gonna check the comments. Guys, if you do have questions, please let me know. All right, so a few things. These two canvases, my friend uh, Crystal Daniels, she also is a Arizona uh, business owner here. She does designer resale. She is always shopping. She's always on the hunt, literally. She found these amazing canvases for me at a thrift store. So I've got two. Now the thing I really love about these, they are sturdy. They are like really sturdy. And I love the thickness. I'm not sure if you can see that. I love the thickness. So if I'm looking for canvases, if you're looking for canvases at a thrift store, I love the thickness of this canvas. It's just a little bit thicker than normal and it's got a really nice, thick, um, really nice thick frame here really good sturdy this is good stuff so we've got two of those 24 inches by 36 inches so if anybody out there is looking for some artwork we can do a pair um, in this size range let me know and at the same time these can also be 
framed. They can also be framed. So um, let's see. I'm just going to get started on these. And all I'm really going to do is I'm going to put a base on. That's really all I'm going to do today. But I do want to share this, guys, because if you are at all interested in doing your own art, upcycling your own art, then it's easy. I mean, there's nothing special about what I'm doing at all. So what I'm using today, also another tip, leftover house paint. Leftover unwanted house paint is fabulous, guys, and I use it all the time. I've used it um, on many of my paintings. I've used it on paintings that I have hanging in my own home that I've had hanging in my home for years. So there's nothing wrong with using leftover house paint. It's just a different, it's just different texture in some cases. It's just different product than maybe, you know, going to the art store and buying, you know, your regular acrylic. So I'm literally just going to slather. Now, my thoughts for these are I'm going to do a, a bold, um, a modern looking geometric black and white. But literally, there's nothing special here. I'm trying not to waste paint. I'm trying not to, uh, I'm, I'm trying not to let anything fall on the floor, but there is some falling on the floor, but I might just pick that up and use it again. I would like a little bit of texture here. So um, in order to do that, a really easy way to um, create texture on your canvas is simply using um, some of the clumpy parts of the paint. You know, if you have paint that's, you know, some air has gotten in there, it's older, it might not be usable for the walls of your home, but great for a canvas. So I'm taking some of that clumpy paint and it's creating some texture. And I really like that. So I'm just painting over this, and for this one here, nothing really crazy for this uh, for this demo, but I'm just showing you how easy it is. I want you to see how easy it is to repurpose a canvas. So guys, this this idea of uh, you know sustainability, this movement about sustainability, it's really very very important. Every little step we can take to repurpose items that already exist, whether it's artwork, decor, um, you know, furniture, clothing, every little bit to keep items out of landfill. Using second hand, you're reducing waste, you are conserving resources, every little bit helps. So I'm literally just slathering this on. And some parts are thicker than others, and that's okay. I'm not, you know, this doesn't have to be like a perfect smooth layer. And I am doing that on purpose because I want some of that texture. I like some of those lumps and bumps. And I will want to paint the edges as well. I might actually do the edges black. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the edges black. And uh, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. And it doesn't matter. You're going to see it's going to get a little bit messy, and that's okay because I am eventually, you know, going to be putting many other layers. But just to show you how I'm going to do the edges. Put that down, get my gloves on. Always forget my gloves. I really can't stand it when I mess up my manicure. Got to wear my gloves. Let's see if there's any comments. Thanks guys, feel free to send me your questions. I would love to answer your questions if you have any questions about process, anything at all. So okay, so to paint the edges, I'm gonna get my black spray paint, Rust-Oleum. This is flat black primer, nothing special. Nothing special, it works. Got this at Ace Hardware. So I'm just painting the edges black again. This is just the look I'm going for. I do want the edges to be black. And again, anybody can do this, guys. There's nothing special in what I'm doing. So I might wait and turn that. And this one is almost out. Yeah, I think it's done. I think it's done. Of course, I'm going to try and get every little bit out that I can. Of course, man, I think this one's done too. 
too. Am I out of black paint? Oh no, hold on. There's a little bit. Alright, there's a little, there's a little. Sometimes turning it upside down, I get a little more. again I'm just doing another layer guys there is nothing I'm not trying to make it uh, any specific way I'm just covering what was already there that is all I don't know about you guys but I like it already I'm a black and white lover but again this is hey Andy oh my god thank you so much for being here thank you for commenting every bit is super appreciated so guys, my style is abstract, so uh, this is not meant to look like anything in particular. FYI, in case you didn't know, but I'm sure you got that already. Again, we got some nice clumps in here. I like that for, whoops, the texture. I think the heat is getting to the canvas, actually. It is really warm in here. I'm not sure if you can see the sweat on my face, but oh my gosh. We are well over 100 degrees. Um, apparently summer has hit in Arizona. All righty. All right. Got it. Noted. <laughs> hopefully soon, I don't know, this studio might be our next reno project, but hopefully soon we're gonna, um, we're gonna work on this studio and get it insulated, get air conditioning. Hopefully soon, I'm hoping. I gotta sell some more paintings though before I get to that point. So guys, I would love your support. Share my stuff. Um, any bit you can do to spread the word about the importance of upcycling and you know any practice, any sustainable practice, any you know sustainable lifestyle practice really really helps. Alright, so all I'm going to do is I am going to, I would think, using up every bit of paint that I poured, every bit of paint on my paintbrush. There we go, I like that. I like that a lot. Alright. I love this canvas. This is a great canvas. This was an awesome find. I think this was Goodwill. I'm pretty sure uh, my friend Crystal found it at a Goodwill. I'm pretty sure. 
But again, this is a 24 by 36. I have two of them, so I will be doing two of these. And I'm going to do them to match in case anybody wants a pair. I love having a pair of paintings. But again, I just want to use up all of this paint here that I have on the canvas or the paintbrush, rather. <laughs> Heat definitely getting to the brain. Oh gosh, guys, it is warm. All right, so that's all I'm going to do today. I said it would be short. I meant it. Oh yeah, I meant it. Actually, sorry. See, I have a thing. Once I get into it, sometimes I can't stop. Yeah, I'm going to go. I don't like that drip right there. So I'm just going to give this a little bit more. I'm going to go off the side there a little bit. All right, almost done. Promise, promise. But sometimes, even with the heat, guys, even with the heat, I painted a ton all last summer, mostly early mornings, 6 a.m., before 6 a.m. But I, even so, sometimes it's hard to stop, like once you get into something. You know, you just get in the zone and then it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so dehydrated. I'm, I've been out here for way too long. It happens. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this a little more down here, too. Using up every last bit of that paint. There we go. I like that. Get that corner nice and white. Hopefully you can see that. But again, guys, so I, I do have a rough idea of what I want to create in my mind. But this is definitely not the finished product. This is phase one. This is layer one. All right, cool. Let me see if there's any more paint I can use up. Yeah, let's get a little bit more. A little more texture there. All righty, that's it. I'm out. All right, guys, thanks for joining back again Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here at Refashioned Art for another art demo. I'm sorry, 12 p.m. 11 a.m. You can catch me on my other Instagram at I am Laura Madden um, for Refashion Talk Live. We're sit in the closet, talk about fashion, sustainable fashion, and uh, styling, all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, 12 p.m. Monday, I will be back here though for another live art demo. It's gonna be cooler. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be cooler. Um, but tonight, guys, join me for live happy hour art tour. I'm in my home. I've got a bunch of new pieces. They are going to be for sale. Um, and that's on my other Instagram, at I am Laura Madden as well. I will post it in my stories after. Um, I hope you'll join me. It's going to be fun. Cocktail dress, cocktail in hand. We're going to see some art. Send me your questions, guys. And again, if you're interested in any of the pieces on my page, please DM me. Would love to show you some more detailed shots if you like. But um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining and have an awesome day, you guys. Bye-bye. Actually, I'm gonna give you one little detail here. Hey, Local Trade AZ, thank you for joining. All right, so again, this is just phase one, guys. Phase one, and this here is canvas two. These are both 24 by 36, and they've both got a great, I love the thickness. It's hard to tell, but these are a little bit thicker than your average um, canvas. So this is just phase one, just step one. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for joining. Yes, I'm hot. Not sure if you can see the sweat on my face, but I am sweaty. It is like well over 100. I think I've done my detoxing from the day. So you betcha, I earned that cocktail. I'm gonna have at my uh, happy hour art tour uh, on Instagram live. Tonight at five, I earned that cocktail. I'm like detoxed out. I've sweated so much this last 20 minutes. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining. See you later. Bye-bye.